He had some health issues for, issues for um, as well. yeah, at Frostbite. That was I was so happy. I, I really wanted to see him compete at Frostbite, but I'm really glad that we are able to see here see him compete here at Nimbus for that last chance qualifier spot for Summit and. He's in top eight. Yeah. Winner's I mean, side. He was worried that because of his condition, he wasn't going to be able to place too well. And plus, he hasn't been in practice against uh, players from America. But you know what? He's, he's on winner's side. Uh, he beat East Ham to get here. Like he's, he's looking really good right now. And I really like that he is playing Krom. Um, I feel like it really suits his style. I have seen some Sheik mains like switch over to Krom and it will work out really well for him or for them. So, uh, oh, and that forward smash call out. Wow, Mr. R going to take that early stock with Krom. Hey, man, it looks like Krom is one of those characters that can match the speed and pressure that Fox exerts. So being able to do the pivot force matches like that will work out beautifully for Mr. R if he can keep up that pressure like he was exerting on the ledge earlier. Yeah, and in terms of a, a lot of people, oh, wow, that up smash from Light going to even things right up here. But yep. dang, like Krom is just one of those characters. Oh, wait, are you dead? Great DI from like going to DI onto the stage there. Yeah, very smart. Will Get the neutral be not quite going to work out there? Both of them trying to figure out their spacing. Gets that dancing blade. Or it double edge dance, whatever uh, it is for Krom. I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And right now, ooh, beautiful jab. Trying to catch a jump there. But the forward tilt, barely not enough. The directional air dodge used from light here. And there is the counter to seal it out. Yeah, we saw Leffen do it with his Roy against ZD to be able to get those edge guards. A strong character like Krom going to be able to get the kill on a light character like Fox, especially like that. Yeah, and especially with Krom, you want... We see Mr. R going for a lot of falling up airs, and he's intentionally going for the back hit because when you get that back hit of up air, you can pretty much combo into anything. While the anti-air from the side B as well, but Light gonna strike back, get some damage, but man, Mr. R up an entire stock and even lapping him in percent. Yeah, man, Fox is one of those characters. It's very light character. He can die to a forward smash or anything potentially, and it's just looking more and more grim. Light gonna try and get something going here, but does not get clipped by the forward tilt. Whoa, he's just zoomed out of there. Yikes, I'm <laughs> out of here. Uh, you were up two stocks, you know what? Let's let's get game two going. <laughs> yeah, I saw the little red dot, and it looked like just right yeah. at the end, maybe directional air dodged away, just didn't want to deal with that. Let's bring it to another stage, maybe yeah. try something different, you know? Yeah, really great stuff coming out from Mr. R, and just really, like, I, I love the spacing. He's going, f the thing about Krom and Roy is there are characters that can be, like, really hard committal. You know, of course, that short hop Nair, very, you know, in infamous for just a, such a great approach option. You get all the cross and stuff. But just from the general Krom meta I've been seeing, you know, we, we've seen Shoyo James' performance, 13th at Frostbite, along with Goblin getting 13th at Frostbite as well. So we're definitely seeing Roy and Krom, because a lot of people were hyping them up in the beginning, then a lot of people had their doubts, but I think they're definitely coming back into the meta, and a lot of people are, you know, showing us the light with these characters. Yeah, I mean, they just needed a strong player to represent them. And yeah, you exactly. you can see what they can potentially do. Gets that falling up or breaks out of that combo, but light, gonna go back with these up air strings. Woo! And let's talk about damage output, because my boy Fox got that on deck. Ooh, and the shine, but we got the double jump. It don't matter. Light taking 10% here on this first stock, and the dang, man. I think Mr. R kind of got bodied right there. Yeah. I mean, earlier I saw in the set with him and Esam, he was able to survive a lot of those edge guards because he kept those jumps and uses the direction or air dodge instead to get that forward momentum he needed to be able to come back. But that time, he saved his jump, but something happened on the down below, and it didn't quite work out for him to make it back. And guess parried Ooh. one more time on that falling up air. Yeah, getting more of those falling up airs, boy, because I got the parries on deck. And Light has definitely been a player that was showing off his parry skills at the very early parts of the game here. And right now, man, Light with momentum is a very scary thing, especially with Fox. Yeah. Oh, gets another up air. But every time it's a trade, it's a victory for Light to be able to close out the percents and potentially get that next stock. Tries to go in for an illusion setup, not going to be able to get anything, but gets that grab. Yeah, and this is so scary. If he gets hit by one falling Nair, that could be curtains here for Mr. R. He's got to avoid that. The illusion into the up air. No, going to catch the landing with the back air. Light is up. Three stocks to one. And wow, I'm very surprised we didn't see a taunt there. <laughs> I mean, LaFox is one of those characters where if something doesn't work out, he's not quite done yet. He can still catch a defensive option because of his speed and because of his strong hitboxes. And just like that, caught that directional air dodge, got that back air, and still trying to go in. That empty hop so Ooh. clean from Light and the up smash, already putting him at 85%. Ooh, another parry. I know when you're going to swing, Mr. R. And with the up smash, ooh, almost a three stock, but uh, can Light finish it? No. Oh, oh just okay, to go okay. for the up smash. No wow. jab into set up anything. Yeah, the jab was too far there, but gets the return up smash. And Light with the three stock game number two. And pff, wow. <laughs> that was pretty crazy. <laughs> I mean, it, 
It's one of those things where it's like light gets momentum. He just starts doing things, and you have no idea what he might do next. Yeah, I mean, right there, that was like, I, I have, I honestly have no way to sugarcoat it because Light just read Mr. R like that whole second game. Yeah. Like, I know when you're gonna swing, I know when you're gonna shield. Give me these grabs, give me these parries. I'm gonna keep hitting you over and over and over, and then I'm gonna hard read you yeah. again mean, and again for the kill. Mm -hmm. I know people were talking about eventually in the meta, it'll be one of those things where, okay, sword characters, of course they have those strong aerials, but there's only so many mix ups you have on your timing. So, pairing those types of uh, maneuvers can get easier over time, especially if you got a read on your opponent. So uh, we saw it right there, you know, just a couple of up airs got parried and all of a sudden he was dead. Yeah, and I mean, it's not even necessarily bad that Mr. R was going for those falling up airs. That, I mean, essentially that's where most of his damage comes from his characters, from these falling aerials or some of these grounded options. But sometimes you have to be able to mix it up or just light is just so godlike. Wow, and the jab block as well. Light is insane. Like, this is so crazy. These parries are so clean. I just love that little Again! Bit. Oh my god. And he almost got the up smash at the end. It looks like uh, Light is starting to get the timing on these, and uh, Mr. R has got to get something started, but a back air. Going to put him off stage one more time. Directional air dodge. Going to keep him alive one more time. Puts him back onto the stage, but Light's still exerting the pressure, and then there doesn't oh. clip. Fox was low profiling himself after the up smash, so it didn't work there. Oh man, and that is a hard thing to back air there. Light trying to get the back air, but on the recovery, but we'll hit the back air on the platform. 160% Mr. R is gonna fall. Now on his second stalker, he's gotta make sure Light doesn't snowball out of control because we saw what happened game number two. Oh yeah. wow, there's the clanks. Oh, he tried to do the tech chase situation into the forward smash. Got the missed tech, just wasn't quite at the right distance for it. I think Light may have DI'd outward just to make it harder for Mr. R to be able to get that setup. Another weak nair, not gonna be able to get anything though. Okay, catches the jump, tries to get the f tilt on the landing, but a little too slow on the trigger, and now Light is trying to catch his landing. He's still on the hunt. I love that up tilt into the up smash. So creative from Light to be able to keep up that pressure. Another parry! Every time Mr. R wants to be able to swing something, Light is one step ahead. Tries to get the back air, but end up gonna not hit the back air and go ahead and lose that stock right there. Mr. R gonna get that up B, and now he's got the falling up air. He's getting these conversions, and all these aerial strings, Mr. R is cashing out so much on this damage. Oh, and the dash attack already putting him in a bad position. Uses up the illusion. Gets oh, that back air. This is no double jump. Is going to get the fair there. Mr. R, clean edge guard. He slowly got rid of Light's resources and executed correctly. Very, very clean. Yeah, once he had the advantage and put him on that platform, he was just ready to be able to swing him out to the other side and just take that out. Wow, wake up Ether to be able to put himself back onto stage. Already 47% tacked on the Light yeah, on his last stock. There is armor on the beginning of that move and it comes out pretty quick. Tech Chase here with the down tilt, dash down tilt. Such a good option for a lot of these Fire Emblem characters. Yeah. Trying to mix up with some poking with that down tilt. Not quite going to be able to get anything. Going to be able to make it back to the stage, though. The weak there doesn't get anything mm. out of it, though. Light not ready for the tech away. Oh, wait a minute. Mr. R might be ready to cook up this stock here. Already 81%, and Krom hits very, very hard. Oh, trying to get that forward tilt, but the back air will connect for Light. We're last stock here. All right, let's see how Mr. R, okay, just tries to put on a back air after the angel platform. But he's going to get that grab. Put him in a fourth chase situation. Yeah, Clips him with the down tilt that time, yeah. Oh, another grab, and he's just racking up this damage, and this four tilt is going to get scarier and scarier on the ledge, and that is going to be it. And that four is so good for ledge trapping, man. I mean, Mr. R was one of the strongest Sheiks in Smash 4 for his ledge trapping game. Yeah. He even made a whole flow chart about how to do it with Sheik, just very able to be people to understand it. And with a strong character like Krom, if you put a ledge trapping person like Mr. R, then it's just a recipe for disaster for his opponent. Yeah, definitely Mr. R was one of the best ledge trappers in Smash 4, and we're definitely seeing it come into fruitation here. He's definitely utilizing all these uh, ledge trapping tools that he has with Krom here against Light now up 2-1. Yep. Going back to Pokemon Stadium, uh, you, you might see this often with people. It's like, let's run it back every time. Yep, yep, Pokemon Stadium. Everyone seems to really like that stage. I'm definitely not complaining. I love Pokemon as a series, and the music is fuego. Yeah, I mean, you just listen to that intense theme. Much better than Animal Crossing music, am I right? Yeah, yeah <laughs> exactly. And wow, I mean, I really want to point out, like, Mr. R got bodied that game too, but he had the resilience to be like, hey, you know, it was just a game. Come back game three and 
come back really strong, but dang, Light, Light didn't care that he lost last yeah, game. Yeah, neither of them cared. They're just like, okay, you body me, I'm going to body you next. Yeah, exactly. And both of these players playing very glass cannon-like characters. They're, the recovery is definitely not known for being great on both these characters. And uh, Fox definitely very, very light as well. Oh, Ooh. but that pivot just called out the Nair as he tried to come back down. Just going to get that trade forward smash, bring things back around here. Two-stock game, smash four turns. Oh, yeah, exactly. Right now, the dash attack will cover that. Ooh, almost covering into the up air. That's one scary thing about Fox. If they hit that one up air they need, the damage is coming. All right, double edge dance. Puts him off stage one more time. Oh, and he illusions right in front of his face. Such a scary situation, but... Yeah, it crossed him up, too. Maybe the uh, side B just hitting a little bit too forward, I'm assuming. But, yeah. yeah, Mr. R not able to get that punish. And now, Light getting so much damage. Already 99%, and it's still counting. Oh, I like that the B reverse just trying to mix up his landing, put him at the edge of that platform, but Light was ready for it, still getting that back air. He's going to make it back and mm. uses that mix up one more time. You saw him in Smash 4 use it with the needles, but it's still not going to apply here. That up air going to be able to take out that next stock. Really good jump call out from Light here, the Illusion. And I really like the spacing on Illusion that Light is using. He's he's not doing it, he's not overshooting it too hard. Wow! Wow, back air to up smash? That was clean. A lot goodness. of damage. Okay, up he out of shield to get off of me. Let's uh, bring this back around. Oh, but gets another up tilt. The oh, up air interrupts his combo, though. Oh, I like the pressure here. And that, wow, didn't go for the back air there. Back air might have done it. Maybe not enough time to set up for that. But the forward tilt on the Nornum will get up. Really great reaction from Mr. R. Okay, 62% on Mr. R, but Kron can make that back in a jiffy. But it's just a matter of being able to get that starting momentum. But it looks like Light is not going to let him have it. Trying to get something there, but the early up B. Not quite going to let Light get something started. Okay, getting 24%, but the parry. But right there, Mr. R had the spacing on that up air, so he didn't get ton punished too hard. Oh, and down air to up smash? Dang, we're, that's some Smash 4 stuff, man. Yeah, back <laughs> at it, but uh, not going to be able to take it yet. Oh, the Ooh. back air not quite going to connect. Oh, and the parry, oh. though, into the up smash. Light one more time gets that read, bringing it back to a game five scenario. Wow. <laughs> and we saw all these parries, and what a clean parry to up smash right there and man there were so many situations where I felt like Mr. R could have swayed it back into his favor a couple missed punish and it's just so hard to play that clean and I, I feel like right now both these players are playing extremely well but it's just those tiny little flubs that you can't really you know talk too much about but man it was so so close all right Charles we're two for two on game five sets here we might be here a while, just letting yeah. you know. <laughs> Insane sets, and now we have Mr. R at his essentially premier tournament, and now he's here, game five against Light, someone who's consistently gotten top eight at both Genesis and Frostbite, a very, very talented player, best box in the world. Yeah, I mean, he was second seed at this tournament for a reason. Yeah. The only one staying consistent on the winner's side as well. Light, of course, a force to be reckoned with, and he's trying to go in here, but it's going to get interrupted by that ether, Mr. R, putting himself back in a neutral position. Oh, wow, and with these down tilts, very amazingly spaced pressure here coming out from Mr. R. Beautiful up be out of shield as well. Yeah. And we just see all these down tilts, all these jabs, very, very safe spacing options for Mr. R. Yeah. Mixing up between the aerials and the grounded options, of course, because he's going to get parried like that. Every time he takes to the skies, it looks like Fox is ready. I mean, he's the pilot, so he might know what the aerial combat is like up there. Yeah, and Mr. R is trying to get these uh, down tilts on Illusion, but it's just so much great spacing coming out from Light. Oh, the down air cross up gets the dash tag as well, almost hits the gets the landing, but man, so much, so much things going on right now. And uh, he gets the up smash from the Nair Light with this continuous pressure. Yeah, he didn't want to stop, man, and he just kept going. Okay, down is not going to work. Okay, let's do a Nair. <laughs> Nair's not going to work. Let's do another Nair into that up smash. But he's going to get clipped right by that down tilt. Offstage situation, Mr. R not quite at the angle to be able to set up for that runoff counter. And I think Mr. R has been catching on to these parry patterns. And, oh, there's the double jump. Gonna get the counter. No, he's gonna go for the back air instead. Really quick thinking from Mr. R. Yeah, big sweeping motion. Gonna be able to catch a recovery like that just fine. Okay, and I, I like Mr. R always going, um, if he can, going high with this upbeat. And wow, wake up upbeat again. Really great great option here for Krom. Oh, the parry doesn't get anything interesting. Neutral B, like that might have been a upbeat or something, but might have misinputted that. Ooh, big damage from the falling there. Also gets a tech situation possibly, no. But the pressure is still on. Really good Nair out of shield here and going to catch the landing. But the platform essentially saving Light 
from that imminent forward smash. Looked like he was one pixel away from not being on that platform. Mr. R trying to make the call there. Not quite going to work out there. Still putting out the pressure. No forward smash comes in. Light still enough time to be able to get that dash attack, even oh. with that shield pressure. But another forward smash takes it out. If at first you don't succeed, you try again. Yeah, Mr. R really doing a great job setting up these tech chase situations, setting up this corner pressure with Prom. And right now, Light is crumbling. He's on his last thought. And it, there's no more game. This is the last one. He's got to clutch something out. He has to take the second stock as soon as possible. Gets the tech Chase gets the up throw. What's going to be the landing? He gets back on stage though. Oh, I love it. The dancing blade just to be able to be reverse himself and put him in a good position. Doesn't up for the immediate up smash, but waits for the roll in and gets the up smash anyway. Only 18% on light. Great scenario for him to bring it back around and grabs him right out of the ether too into the up smash. And right now he's getting so much damage. There's the parry as well. And one thing you got to be careful when you're playing against light. This kid has one of the best reactions in smash. But right now, we're going tick for tack, back and forth. Mr. R gets an offstage situation. Down tilt almost connects. Oh, and he goes in immediately with the jump fair. Puts himself back into the stage. And he's just trying to make himself what, make his way in. But Mr. R is on that defense, trying to find something going. Not going to find a tech chase situation. Able to jump out just in time. And both these two are going blow for blow right now. Uses up the jump. Goes back on the platform, though. Oh, gets the up smash, but it's not quite enough. Another Nair to up smash will do it. Mr. R has got to be careful. There's a lot of things to be careful about. Oh, man, the down air almost sends him to, to tumble, but it doesn't. Yeah, he just clips down, and he's got the spot dodge afterwards. Put himself on the ledge one more time. What's he going to do? Tries to go for four tilt. Tries to go for another one. Doesn't get it, though. Ah! And uh, weak there, and he fights it. Tech chase <laughs> finally getting light on the last stuck situation. Last hit brings it back around. All reliable, the Nair into 